How are you? How are you? Well, I just got a notice from the Wrestling Universe Instagram that Nick Balin died. He was the son of Jack, Dad, Jack Balin. And I met him eight years ago. And he taught me how to do everything right. If it wasn't for him, it, I wouldn't have met Jack. I would have met Danny D'Amato. I wouldn't have met, uh, what's the guy? Kenny Cartwright, Nicoletta's. Ringwalker shouts to them, Earl Kuda. He was a good man. And also the wrestlers, and they charged me $20 a buck to sign the wrestling signature. So, uh, so he was a good man. And if he was here right now, he would tell me, you have to do what what is right for business. You know, shouts to Triple H. But the thing is that the next six months, I'm going to be working at Jack Rabbit. And um, in 2018, I'm going to make my, uh, excuse me, uh, House of Glory and Wars of Wrestling debut. And I'm going to dedicate this one for my man, Nick, who's up in heaven. And I'm going to tell Jack next week when I meet Jimmy Hart that I'm sorry that you lost your dad. I'm going to hug him and I'm going to cry, you know, RIP, because the next six months are going to be up. Incredible for me, and it's gonna be an emotional one because I just lost my best friend in a whole wide world. So, if I do well in six months, I get the job at AMC during Avengers Infinity War, May 4th or 5th or whatever. May 4th, May 4th, yes. So, RIP Nick, and I want to honor another man. His name is Steven J. Cano, he was my idol. Growing up. And I wish I can play him one day in a movie. So I gotta get the wig. I gotta get the goatee. You know. I lost my hair 10 years ago. So interesting story. When my mom came back from. We'll, we'll do the Stephen J. Cannell thing a little bit. Interesting story. Well. I had a job at PCF. I was in my final two months with them. Mom, the day before. Mom went back. She said the house was a mess. Blah blah blah. And uh, we fought. Next day, I was pissed off. And Johanna said, why are you late? And I pushed her. And Frankie. And I pushed Frankie. And, and Mike Kaplan, that asshole he is, he told me that that you, your fate will be decided by the end of the day. And then a few hours later, the Haitian man fired me. And... I'm going to dedicate the next six months to Jack Rabbit, even though Liz is in Detroit till tomorrow night. I am going to dedicate Jack Rabbit to him, okay? And uh, and 2018, when I make my HOG Warriors of Wrestling debut, I'm going to make him proud. Love you, Nick, always. And another man I'm going to... Hindu. We're gonna we're gonna talk about his, the guy name is Stephen J. Cano. He was my idol. He created such great television shows. Rockford Files, A Team, John Twenty One Jump Street, Wise Guy, Beretta, uh what else? Created Prophet, he created uh Hawkats on McCormack, he created the quest. No, he produced the quest, sorry. He created Sunny Spoon, which Mario Van Peebles and his father started in it. It was a great show. He launched many different careers. He hated in an interview being an icon. And I love the commish. It was a funny show. You know, that will be said for another day. So seven years ago we lost him to cancer. He was only sixty-nine. And at the end he was doing his typewriting thing and he tossed it in the sea and he was smoking a pipe. And parents were complaining that the kids were watching him. He was smoking and he quit smoking after that. So he was in posse. He had two lines in the movie. But seven years ago, we lost an iconic man. He was a good man, Stephen J. Cano. But the thing is that I want to play him one day. You know, I want to get a wig and beard and something like that. But he was a good man, Stephen J. Cano. He used to. Do the typewriter, doing that because he wants to show the face of the producer. He has bundle of awards at the Paramount Studios, and he 
left behind a legacy. He left behind his daughter Katarn, who's the villain, being greatest man, him, greatest man, you know, female version for ABC, and she's doing other things. So shot and Chelsea Cano. Don't forget about that. So seven years ago was a sad time for me. He produced the A Team movie, which didn't make enough money at the box office. Twenty One Jump Street was funny, but it was a serious show. But seven years ago, we lost Stephen J. Cato. So he was my idol growing up. And he used a typewriter at every one of his shows because he was dyslexic. And RIP to Stephen J. And RIP to Nick. So that's my video. Bye. Subscribe. And Anthony Chabot. C-H-O-B-O-T. Last name Anthony. First name. Bye.